Hey guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to make an aluminum batarang. In this video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about what I do and why I'm doing it as I make the casting. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get started. So there's two different kinds of casting methods that I've used so far. One of them is where I just take the item, bury it in sand, and have some foam tubes going down to it that I'll pour the metal through. The metal flows through the foam, evaporates it, and takes the shape of the design. The other way is called green sand casting. It involves two boxes, and you put the item in there, and you put sand around it, and you're able to take apart the boxes and take out the item. I'll be using the first method, the lost foam casting method, to make the battering today, but I'll also show you how I do the green sand casting method. This is my crucible. It's the graphite cup that I melt metals in, and there's a crack in it right here, and it's falling apart and it's completely ruined. So I don't really think I'll be able to use it anymore. So we got a new one. This new crucible is same material and you can tell it looks completely different. It's shiny and reflective. And this one won't break down as quickly because it's got thicker walls. But before we can use it, I need to dry out any moisture that might be in here. So to do that, we're gonna pop it in the oven at 250 for probably about an hour. So the next thing we need to do is print out our Batarang model that we'll use to cut out the foam. Okay, so now we've got our pattern, we just need to cut it out, put it on foam, and then make the foam design. I'm going to take two pieces of foam and glue them together so that our model will be thicker. So for the method we're using today, I dig a hole in the sand and put the item in there. Then I put foam pieces that go from the item up above the top of the bowl. Then I put sand in around that so that only those little foam pieces are exposed. Then I pour aluminum into these foam risers and it goes down vaporizing the foam and taking the shape of what the item was.
So I'm pretty much finished making this battering and I could keep on shining it up and trying to make it look prettier, but rather than keep on doing that, I'm gonna move on to another project that's gonna be much better. So this side turned out relatively okay. It's got a little bit of a splotch right there and you can still see some bubbles, but I could probably shine most of that out if I kept on sanding it. This side, however, is just awful. Tons of pits and bubbles everywhere and there's even a hole that goes all the way through. So this side has a hole that goes all the way through and I think that's from where I had the sprue go right onto the foam model and I think it knocked some sand in there or something. I'm not really sure, but every time I've had a sprue go directly onto the foam item, I've had a hole in it. So I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. Well, this is it for this project. Thanks for watching and don't forget to come back and see what I make next.